In this video, we'll learn to add simple fractions. So if we start with one third, add one third, the answer is going to be rather straightforward. So think of a cake that's split into three equal parts. And we're taking one slice and another cake that is identical so we're taking another slice so in total this is going to be two-thirds so two out of the three slices. And it's straightforward when it comes to having fractions with the same number at the top. And it's straightforward when it comes to adding fractions with the same number at the bottom. So we keep the bottom number the same and we add the top numbers. So that is two thirds. By the way, this number at the bottom is called denominator. Down denominator and this number at the top is called numerator. So having the same denominator makes it very easy to add fractions. Let's have a look at another two fractions which don't have the same denominator. So we're going to do four fifths and two thirds. Rather than as rather than as a cake, I'm gonna represent them as chocolate bars. The idea is that the slices would be identical, same size. Now I'm going to represent the two thirds here. So here is two out of three, two thirds, this one, and four out of five, four fifths, this fraction. Now, as they are at the moment, they are of different slices. These slices are bigger, these ones are smaller. So how do we add them? 
So what we're going to do, we're going to split these chocolate bars into equal parts. So equal size of slices. So we are going to split this whole chocolate bar into 50. So as it stands at the moment, we've got these two chocolate bars split into different sizes of... So as it stands at the moment, we've got these chocolate bars split into different sizes of slices. I'm going to do now... Oh. So as it stands at the moment, we've got these chocolate bars split into different sizes of slices. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to split them into equal sizes so that we get three small slices for each of these bigger ones so as it stands now we've got these slices in different slices <laughs> so as it stands now we've got these slices in different sizes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split them all into the same size slices and equal size of slices. So there are 15 in total in this one and 15 in this one as well. So what has happened? I've drawn or I've cut each of the bigger slices into three smaller slices in the first chocolate bar. So... 15 in total so 15 in total and highlighted we've got three as well by the same number what have we done with the second chocolate bar again it's out of 15 and We've got in the two big slices, we've got five each. So five and five, that makes 10. So what's happened? Three has been multiplied by five and two has been multiplied by five as well. So now we've got 12 15s and 10 15s. Can we add them now? Yes, we can do easily because we've got the same denominator. So that is 22 15s in total. Let's try with another fraction. Let's try with a, Let's try with another whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's try with another two fractions. So we've got one sixth and we're going to add to that three fifths. So notice how I'm saying one sixth and three fifths. So one sixth and three fifths they haven't got a common denominator they've got different denominators so we're going to find a common denominator for them both and it happens that 30 is a common denominator because six goes into 30 without a remainder five goes into 30 because six is because you can divide 30 by 6 and you'd have no remainder and it into 6 and then into 30 in total so there would be 5 in each of these 6 big slices so from 5 to 30 with multiple total 23 30ths. Let's do another example. 
we've got four sevenths 